Hey guys, it is Tanya, Thrifty Treasures. Welcome to episode four of Jewelry Detectives. So I'd like to introduce my co-host, Angie, Treasured Vintage. Hello, Angie. And, and, Angie. <laughs> and, our, <laughs> and our new, another, uh, another little co-host we have here, Monica, of Keeping It Real with the Miller. Miller. She'll be a permanent panel member. Yay, so excited Yay. to be a part of the team. Hello, We're everybody. so excited to have you. And we'd like to welcome our guests, Debbie and Max from Debbie and Max Go Thrifting. Yay. Thank you for having us. Thank We're you for coming here. on. Yeah. Excited to be here. Awesome. And I have to say, Debbie, you look adorable. I love your shirt and all your jewelry. Show everybody your jewelry. Yeah. Oh, I have my hands choking me. I have my little pumpkin earrings. And then I have a ribbon, ugh, higher ribbon and candy corn bracelet that I got off Etsy. And I don't know how the person did this because it would drive me nuts, but I love That's it all. so cute. Thank you. Tried to get Max to dress up, but he wouldn't. Yeah, Max, where's your jewelry? <laughs> I'm dressed. I'd be happy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You guys want to um, show us what kind of jewelry you brought? Okay. Well, uh, this piece... Uh, it does, it's not marked sterling, very heavy, and I was wondering if uh, it's some type of stone or is it um, fake or what to, you know, I don't know what to list it as. So I did see this one piece before the show and I thought it looked heavy, so I asked and they said it's definitely heavy. You guys, so um, I think it's some kind of a stone, but I'm not sure exactly what kind of stone. Do you know, Auntie? No, it's cold to the touch, right? Yeah, yes. very. So it is a stone. I'd say it's some kind of a natural stone. I'm really bad with stone identification. That's like my worst, my, you know, my worst detective skills. <laughs> Or oh, maybe go to uh, Google and type in dark green stones and see if I can find something. It's some kind of a natural carved stone. Um, and it looks like someone made it to me. Look, can I see the, the clasp part again? Well, possibly somebody made it. It, it kind of looks like someone made it. But, yeah. Um, not smart. You should post that one in the jewelry group, Thrifty Jewelry Treasures. Okay. Yeah, I will. That's a good idea. I hadn't thought of that. Well, I hate, I hate to post too much, but... Uh, no, uh, post away. <laughs> <laughs> these, um, I found them interesting uh, because they are marked made in the USA, but that's the only markings on them anywhere. There's no... Um, maker or anything like that. I, I, I rarely see a, something marked made in the USA. So that caught my eye. That's there are uh, clip there earrings. There is on the back. They're enamel. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, is seeing something marked made in the USA common now? I have come across jewelry that says that too made in the USA, but that's all it says. There's no maker's marks on it, just made in the USA. Me too. And and like like you, it's kind of a mystery. I don't know, you know, who made it? Why, why does it just say made in the USA? Why couldn't they have put who made it on there? If they were <laughs> would you think they it? Put made in the USA, why didn't they put who made it? <laughs> yeah, would you think it's maybe vintage since everything is made pretty much overseas now except for custom things? I do think it's, and, and just the looks of those, they look 80s to me. Oh, they are enamel, right? Different yeah, colors. yeah, yeah, they're enamel. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and they almost look like fall colors. What were the colors in there? Oh, yeah, they are. They're gorgeous. They're gold and greens and browns. Yeah, they'd be great to put up for fall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for keywords. Yeah, definitely. Hey, this is a Miriam Haskell Ooh. Pin that uh, I found. Is that a good? Is that a good wow? <laughs> yeah. Is it? Yeah. A, is it an angel? Yeah, it's a very gaudy angel. <laughs> it's a lot of color to it. A lot of stones. Have you looked up Miriam Haskell in the the solds or the comps? 
No, I kind of was waiting till uh, we did the show. I didn't want to burst my bubble. I kind of wanted to see how yeah. things were. Burst but. your bubble. <laughs> Tony, <laughs> you have your, uh, the, are I'm, you looking stuff up this week at all? Yeah, like, I'm trying to look it up real quick. Because <laughs> um, Miriam Haskell is an awesome uh, costume jewelry maker, um, and she's normally worth some good money. Oh, um, good. I have oh. another just general question is, how, what is the difference between a rhinestone, a crystal, and glass? Oh, boy. <laughs> I see, you know, people using them all three all the time, and I don't want to put something wrong on a listing. Um, uh, well, I do know that a crystal is, like, if you're talking Swar Swarovski, and I, and I always mispronounce that. But yeah, I know. Swarovski crystals. Um, that is made specifically by the Swarovski company. Yeah. So it's kind of, uh, I don't use that term very often unless I know that it's, you know, a, an actual Swarovski crystal. Um, that's something you want to refer to a jewelry book or like search online. I, I wish I could answer that. I could look it up, but it's like it probably, you know, I don't really know how to answer that. I know rhinestones are fifties. Uh, there are glass um, sets in the fifties and and back, but yeah, you. you and I, I would probably, think. Well, I feel shame doing that because I'm a jewelry detective and. I, <laughs> I have stopped know. the detective. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know really. I don't have an intelligent answer for that, so I'm just going to leave it alone. <laughs> what you, what's your intelligent answer uh tanya well i was just gonna say i would think and i could totally be wrong but i would think that glass will be like maybe in cheaper pieces um and like the like the gemstones and the rhinestones would maybe be in more like intricate more expensive pieces what do you think yeah. that's a good point in the chat, there's a couple things. So Erie Manor says many designers will move to the U.S. to advance, to advance their careers, especially to the studios in New York. So I don't know if that determines as far as what type of pieces they use. But Chrissy says Swarovski has the swan sign on all of their pieces. Yes. That's why you can tell what crystals are theirs. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I had also I heard at they, one time that rhinestones, a lot of the older rhinestones are prong set as opposed to the newer pieces where they're just glued in. That is true. Yes. That is true. Okay. This set, I don't think it's worth anything, but I just love it. It's a bracelet. It's, it's marked Japan. That's it. But I don't know if you can see the clasp on them. Ooh, that's really pretty. Isn't that pretty? It's a bracelet and a necklace set, and it's so tiny. I could probably wear it as a bracelet both. Um, but it reminds me of the stuff my mom used to wear. So I definitely think it's vintage. And the, I mean, I know it's not real pearls. I made Max rub it on his teeth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they don't taste very good. <laughs> but, yeah, I just think it's a pretty uh, set, and that was wondering kind of uh, what to list it for or, you know. Well, it almost looks like most of the, the uh, finish has worn off the pearls. Is that is that the case? They're translucent. Yeah, they're translucent. Okay. And they're not tied, you know, they're not not, I did it. There's not, they're not not tied. There's not knots between each bead. Yeah, they're That's just strong. Yeah, they're just strong. But I didn't know if somebody would. Looks like there's a bead missing on this one over here. Right there. On the clasp or on the necklace? No, no, no the no. clasp are gorgeous. And one, one, one of the triple strings on the mm -hmm. necklace, yeah. it looks like there's yeah. a bead missing. So would it be worth listing or just put it in a lot or? Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. I, I, but you know, there's no markings on it. Just oh, Japan. 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 Yeah. yeah. That on the back. Um, and it has some, does it have any verdigris on it or is there green, green on it for? No, no. not at all. No. I might try and list that. Um, yeah. I, I probably have to do the research first, but I think it, 
it, it's good that you have the matching bracelet to go with it. I think that would make a nice set. And I would probably, I would probably say, what do you think, Angie, 50s on that? Um, yeah, I would say, or maybe earlier. And definitely, maybe, you know, vintage. Mm -hmm. 12 or 14, somewhere around there. Um, maybe a little more than that. Um, just look at the comps. See if you can find something similar. It's the best recommendation I can give you on that. Okay, now I have two pieces of this, and I, I, it's uh, marked Wallace Silversmiths, but it's gold enamel, so it kind of... What's the name on that? Wallace Silversmiths. Mm -hmm. huh. I, I think I've run across those pieces before. Um, I've never seen it before. They're pretty. Are there pendants? They're necklace pendants? Yeah, one came with a chain and the other uh, didn't. I'd probably sell them together and so that they could interchange. Yeah. yeah they're about both, they're both Christmas too, so yeah, that would be good. But uh, <coughs> yeah. Those don't wow. seem to go for that much. Let me screen share. Uh, let's see how to do that. So there's a question in the chat from Libby 56 lady. She wants to know what does it mean if it has the green vertigo? Is that right? Vertigo? Vertigo. V e r i g r i s is a, it's um, a finish where that happens to vintage jewelry, um, where the the metal actually turns. Uh, green and it oxidizes and um, you can kind of remove some of that with a, like a, some white vinegar solution maybe in a q-tip very uh, carefully but sometimes once that starts it gets too far gone and you, you know that it's going to continue but um, I have had light verdigree on pieces that you know if you just uh, Disclose that in your description that there is some metalware. You can just say verdigree slash metalware or something like that. Then people should know that people that know about vintage jewelry should know what you're talking about there. But it's uh, and I think verdigree is like French for green or something or verde verde or something. So the derivative of that word is green. Something. Yeah, that's a great tip. Latin, Verde is Latin for green. Uh, this isn't exactly, well, it's definitely not jewelry, but I got it um, at an estate sale and I love it. It's a little, uh, it's actually, it held perfume. Um, you can still smell the yeah, perfume. It's coming we tried to clean it out because it was very fragrant. Um, but I think the little, Stones on top are actual uh, stones, and it's marked uh, Max Factor on the bottom. Oh, wow! <laughs> I like it when I say. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, let me look that up real quick. So it's a perfume, like yeah. Um, my I don't grandma, know what they call it. Like yeah. my grandma would call that. How do you say, Angie? Like suave or what is it called? It starts with an S. I can't think of the name. Sasha. It's perfume. Okay. No, oh, it's perfume, but it's like um, a cream. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sav? No. No, that's medical. <laughs> is there? Is it in the chat? Yeah, I, you do, anybody say it in the chat? Not, not yet. Well, All we've had in the chat so far. Oh, solid. Sal. Salve. S A L. Yeah, salve. Okay. No. What was it? S-A-L-V-E. Yeah, you would open it and just dab a little and put it on your wrist. Yeah, it's I don't, it's not salve. So it's it's either solid perfume or something. Uh, yeah, it's something Maybe else. it's solid. It's definitely probably solid perfume then. Oh, okay. Here, let me pull this up and show you guys. Uh, I'm sure if you look... Uh, 
you'll find it in the, you know, the, you'll find the exact name of it if you look for comps. Somebody said Satchet, S-A-C-H-E-T. I don't think it's a sachet, though. Uh, uh, All right, let me know if you guys are seeing on my screen. Bonnie says solid perfume. Yeah. Uh, it's guys, not on the big screen. There okay, it hang, is. hang on, I can fix it. That's uh, I, I saw it on the big screen. Okay, can you see it now? So this is a set of them that sold for $45. Oh, well, crazy. I got it uh, half price at an estate sale on a Sunday for five dollars. So, I think I can make some profit on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. It's so cute. Yeah, I know. I caught it, like I say. I was looking at the jewelry and it caught my eye, and I thought, hmm. But it it reeked. I mean, it it smelled. You didn't like the way the perfume smelled, Debbie? <laughs> oh no, no. Okay. They made it too uh, long, didn't they? Back in the day. Oh boy, that's what I, I can always smell my mother coming. Uh, this is marked. My mother coming. <laughs> Raffine, oh, R A F F I N E. Hmm, never heard of that. Raffine, okay. Let's see. It's a brooch, right? Yeah, yeah, just a. Uh, solid gold tone uh, brooch and it's weird it's can you see the it's got like a spine going right down the, right. Mm -hmm. the front it's dimensional oh, good word i've never heard of that uh designer before me neither oh here's one it's sold for 9.99 let me screen share uh My windows aren't working as fast as my brain is this morning. <laughs> it needs coffee. <laughs> yeah, I should have got another cup of coffee. Okay, can you guys see it? My screen? Yeah, it is. All right, let me mm -hmm. scroll down. So it's all for. Yeah, I didn't. Most of the things I got, I paid a dollar or two for because we went to estate sales on half price Sunday. So I try to stick under two dollars unless it's something I really uh, think might be worth it, which is. Uh, so Princess Casserole says, perhaps do a lot of Christmas brooches or tree brooches. Oh. Some people collect them but don't go for a lot. So do a lot okay. is what she's saying of like if you have a bunch of different Christmas ones, do like, I a lot actually of have them. yeah, I've got some Christmas brooches I was gonna put up. I might throw that in there. Uh guys, this is an estate sale. It's um what is it? I can't go on the other side. Oh, Christian Dior. Oh wow. Uh yeah, they're pierced wow. earrings. And I paid paid up on these. I paid ten dollars for them, but I hope I can, you know, do something with them. Yeah, I'm, and they're. I know you'll make out good on those. Definitely. Yeah, I Makes usually sense. don't spend that much, but. How much did you pay for me? Say. Ten dollars. Oh yeah, I think it'll definitely, you know, fifty or seventy for sure. Yeah, and this is a B David D A V I D or David. I don't depends on where you're at. You said B. B like boy. And then dot David. David, or if you're French, it's David. David, that's yeah. really pretty. I haven't heard of that either. That is very pretty. Have you ever heard of it, Debbie? No, no, I, I, I'm, I'm surprised at the, what I'm finding because I get a lot of Sarah Coventry, Avon, you know, the common things. Right. And um, we have, like in the last month, decided to start going to the estate sales on Sunday, you know, watching Tanya and some others because that seems to be where I'm getting the, all, the brands that I, I'm not finding anywhere else. And mm -hmm. all of our, we have like, six goodwills here but every single one of them 
has, I don't know what they're doing with their vintage story, but they don't carry it anymore. Mm -hmm. And they're bringing in Chinese imports. Mm -hmm. So I'm having a really hard time finding uh, vintage story here. Can I see that again? Can I see the brooch again? Yeah. Okay, that looks like one that I just saw. You guys want to see on eBay? Do Let me we? see if I can. <laughs> Do we? Do <laughs> we? Let's be happy, said it's a company that started in 1945. Oh. Oh, wow. Thank you, Leslie. Yeah. Been nice. um, can you guys see my. I can't see the chat, everybody, but I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep you updated, Angie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Monica. Can you guys see my screen share? There it is. Yeah. Well. Okay, so this looks like yours right here, right? Yeah. yeah. Except it doesn't have the earrings, but. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say you could probably get at least 30 for it, I bet. I'll take that. Yeah. Is yours gold tone or silver tone? That one looked like it was silver tone. Mine's gold. gold. Mm. They must have made it in two different finishes. Okay, and this is something I learned from Tanya. I saw a bag of uh, men's cufflinks, which I know really don't sell and aren't that uh, big a deal. And they wanted fifteen dollars for them. It was a pretty good size bag, and I thought, ah, uh, but. I know she has found other things in there that they just threw in there and didn't know what to do. So, in the bag of cufflinks, I found gold. I oh. just saw it. Yeah. So, and Ooh. we've tested these, and they, I mean, they're not huge or anything, but I paid $7.50, so. All of uh, this is real gold you're showing us? Yeah. Well, what, what is the pur purity or carrot? Uh, some is 10 and some's 14. Very nice. Wow. And I, I first thought, well, look at them in the bag. I thought they were little boys, uh, tie clips. But then after I got them out and saw them, I think they are, uh, women's. In fact, this, that may be real pearls. I wasn't even thinking about that. Um, test it out, Max. They're like collar pins. You're really mm -hmm. into your turn. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know. That doesn't feel gritty. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think those are women's. The how they used to wear the collar pins to hold the mm -hmm. lapels of their collar together, maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh but, yeah, but, that's that's really great. Yeah, so that's that, amazing. Yeah, I, I'm I'm so cheap. It's like I said, it was seven fifty. I'm standing there going, do I want this or not? And then now, where yeah, did you that. find that? What store? At an estate sale. Oh, estate sale. Okay, wow. Yeah. They had all the men's jewelry bagged up in one bag and all the ladies was laid out and priced individually. And like I say, sometimes I don't really want men's jewelry and I don't want to deal with it, but look what you find. Right. So what will you do with that? Will you sell it to your local um, jeweler or eBay? Yeah, I actually have a jeweler that um, I take and sell gold to. So Okay, that's great. She she has a jeweler she takes the gold to and they put it on her account. So she could get otherwise <laughs> got another jewelry. Don't don't mislead them. There. Yes, I, I have some <laughs> custom pieces I've had made for me. Um uh, speaking of this cufflinks not selling, I just sold a pair today. You did? did you? Yeah. What'd they so sell they, for? Nineteen dollars. Nice. <laughs> well, I know those are the swank ones that sell pretty well. Yeah, these were yeah. the Vintage this, um, we're kind of confused, which we're always confused. Show me the back of it, honey. Yeah. It looks like it was hand cast. Wow. Does it say Marcy? It says Faith and uh, Marcy, yeah. Okay. Is that a well, I'm going to, I have a necklace somewhere around here that I'm going to be listing. I'm going to go high too because that is a um, designer, but I guess there's not a whole lot of them on eBay because I've recently looked. Oh, darn, I wish I could find that necklace. But um, yeah, I would I would list that for at least um, $15. So if it's hand on, cast, right? If you go look on eBay, there's not a whole lot of things that are, um, what's the word? I always get confused. Hallmarked or signed. Maker's Mark. With Marcy, but 
No, mine's a Christmas necklace. I will try to remember to post it in the jewelry group later. Well, it could be religious. Well, too. this could be really. This also could be nautical. Let's see, it's got the anchor with a heart oh, on. Oh, I didn't it. even see that. You didn't notice that? Yeah. Let's could see. Be, see the very the anchor, and at the very bottom of the anchor, you can see a heart. It mm. sure is. I would definitely put that in the for the keywords, Debbie. It looks like, like nautical a dog face. Yeah, is that a dog face? You know, it, it's it, it, you can see the face, the curly locks on down each side. Two eyes, and the mouth is open as if she's singing. Oh, or it could oh. be like it's you know. Now that like I follow the nautical thing, it could also be like a harpy, you know, <laughs> <laughs> singing to bring the sailor to their doom. Don't talk about your ex-wife that way. I see that too, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this I, I didn't have these out to show. But I wanted to. Sh these. This is one pair of cufflinks that were in that bag, and they're they're they're. I said, boy, if a man would wear these. Ooh, fancy! Oh, yeah. So I just I wanted know. to in the chat that piece that you had. Um, there's another person that had two of them and thought they were homemade too. So um, it was good for her to see that they're not. So. Marcy. Oh, the Marcy. Yep. So. Yeah. yeah. Wow, I love those cufflinks. Perfect I, I, item. You don't think I, I, I wasn't going to list them. I thought they were kind of gaudy. Or you think I right? should? They're wonderful. So Princess <laughs> Casserole, Carla says, disco party. I know. <laughs> I'd like to see the man that would wear those. would be the thing. Yeah, and this is the worm, though, too. Yeah, they're great. Oh, that's true. I'm thinking. This is a cameo, and but the back is more Spinx, S P I N X. Hmm. And it's another maker I'd never heard of. Me neither. And it has a little chain, which I don't know what do you do with the chain? Hmm. Is it just for looks or maybe to hold glasses? Oh, I didn't think about that. Could. Let me look at that brand real quick. Or that designer, rather. Maybe somebody in the chat knows about the chain. Yeah, I'm right. I'm, I'm right. My brain going. What did you do with this chain? Yeah, I, I could see that holding glasses. I, yeah, I've never, I've never seen a brooch with a chain on it like that, unless there was some other little pin attached to it, like another little tiny cameo or something. I've seen that type of thing before, but not just. Having it attached to the back. Linda well, said safety chain, maybe. When you open it up, the chain hangs like that with a little clip on the end of it. Hmm. Well, yeah, but for costume jewelry, would you have a safety chain? I think it's for glasses. Yeah. I can market it that see. way anyway. Let's go. Okay, with that. so. <laughs> The Sphinx, the Sphinx brand sells for a lot of money, but I'm not seeing too many of the cameo ones. Um, that oh, it's are rare. For $99.95. <laughs> right? <laughs> I would definitely go high on that. Can I see the um, the maker's mark there on the back where it says Sphinx? Catherine <laughs> says, Gotti is good and sells. <laughs> That's right. Is it there at the very top there? Yeah. Okay, it's little, huh? Here's yeah, we um, on button for safety. So like yeah, I would definitely go high with that, Debbie. Okay. I'm sorry, Monica. No, what were you okay. saying, Monica? Carol said maybe it hooks on button for safety, and then Belinda also said that it doesn't look like costume jewelry. It looks like it's higher end, and the chain wow. looks like gold, so maybe test it. Is the shell uh, a real shell? Because so, sometimes you know that shell yeah. will be um, acrylic or something. I bet it's I bet it's a real shell. Carved. I don't know. We'll have to. Can you does um, it like stone? Like, does it feel cold like a real shell? No, it feels warm. Well, that might not be a good thing to ask. I don't know. The back feels cold. Max has been holding it for like five minutes, so I'll just ask when he has to hold it. <laughs> It's warm. Oh. Oh, is it magnetic? I don't know. Try it. You've got the magnet over there. Yeah, the chain is magnetic. The chain is magnetic. Okay. okay. But the oh, it's probably gold plated. I would say the uh, 
The gold rim is not. Not magnetic. Hmm. All right. This is another one. I it just I, I just picked some interesting. I've got so much story, but I picked some interesting. This one interested me because I have never seen a necklace like this. It's actually got seashells for beads. Oh wow. oh, wow. Little, one of those things, or not cockle shells. That's the nursery rhyme. I don't They're, know what those um, are. Cowrie. Cowrie, yeah. yeah. Thank you. But yeah, I had never seen that. And it's not like it's been restrung. It's got the original, uh, you know, by fastening on it or whatever. But I mean, I've seen, I've been doing jewelry for years and I've never seen that. So it just struck me as unusual. Pretty neat. It looks like it has a spring clasp. There, yeah. Yeah, lobster. Lobster. lobster yeah. yeah. Yeah, so the, what that usually tells us is that it's a newer piece, right, Angie? Mm hmm It's really pretty, though. I don't think you'd have any problem selling that. I would definitely use the keywords nautical and uh, beachy. We'll put, it with, we'll put it with the angel. Put it with the angel. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this I got, I think I'm going to keep for me. Uh, it was $5, so I got it for $2.50. And it's not uh, real. It's just the neat, I love neat pieces. Can you see? It's a little miniature. Can you hear it? Yeah, we can hear it. Yeah. It's a little cowbell on a chain. Oh, it's so cute. Wow. Isn't that darling? That is. And I mean, I told Max, can you imagine the person, show them the inside, that had to put the clapper in that thing. Oh my, yeah, right. But you need some kind I really, of long needle nose pliers or something. I I just I when I saw that I thought oh, I think that's Stan Debbie. <laughs> See, that's <laughs> the problem, Debbie, with jewelry. Whenever you buy jewelry and sell it, right, Angie? Too because a lot of yeah. times you want to keep stuff for you. <laughs> that's the perks. I, I, I did all the trouble of taking the pictures and everything, and then I got I like oh well. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. <laughs> right? <laughs> Keeping it. Uh, these I just picked up. They were half of what eight, so they were four dollars. And again, I just like the look of them. I actually, well, they look like kind of marcasite. Foam but, very Art Deco looking. That yeah, was my first I, thought, Art Deco. Yeah. And I don't know if the black is onyx and the uh, cream color. I don't know what that could be. They the are top. pierced. Uh, is it just enamel? I don't know. How do you tell enamel? Is there some test you can do? Well, it just looks like paint. Uh, it it really looks like enamel to me. Think or is it set in there? It looks metallic. It's, kind of it's very thin. You're right. It is very thin. Okay. Is it, is it metallic or is it uh, matte? Okay. Check it. You got the magnet. No, I mean, I mean no. the, the enamel. Is it? Does it have like swirly a metallic uh, finish, or is it? No, it's matte. It's, it's gloss. Gloss. Okay. And then the cream-colored ones are swirly. With swirl oil. Mm -hmm. And there's no uh, markings on the back at all. No. No. I just like the look of them. Yeah, I would definitely list them and say Art Deco for sure as uh, some keywords. Mm -hmm. um, they're definitely fancy, right? Like something you would wear to a prom or an evening event or something. Uh, let's see. Catherine, Catherine said Art Deco mop onyx mother of pearl. Ah. I hadn't thought of mother of pearl. Yeah, that's good. I can put mock so I don't get in trouble. Uh, these are a pair of Judy Lee. I don't know. That's another one I had not heard of. Uh, these are yeah. clip. Mm -hmm. And I, I again, I just like the look. They're really like, pretty. Yeah. I've heard of Judy Lee. I have several. for earrings. So we have a question in the chat. Christy wants to know, is it better if earrings are clipped? Clips, not clipped, sorry, clips. 
So I think she's wondering, and I've wondered this too, is like when you're looking for earrings to resell, is it better to look for like the pierced earrings or the, you know, um, clip earrings? What would you two suggest for people? I would say it's really about the content of the front of it, right? <laughs> what the front of it looks like, because if it's a great earring, it's going to sell whether it's pierced or clip. I mean, in my opinion. So when I'm out thrifting, that's not even a, a factor for me. Like I just go by like what it looks like and if it's, um, you know, signed in any way. What do you think, Angie? I agree. Um, definitely. Um, clips are kind of my favorite because I like vintage jewelry and they're usually the clips, but, um, yeah, it's, it's totally depends on the, the jewelry brand or if it's signed or what it, you know, if it's different. Um, I just picked up another pair of that Edgar Burberry. Bur Ooh. They are so cool. I mean, they're big and gaudy and they're, well, the other ones, you know, like almost $50, I think. So I'm like anxious to get these up and listed. Yeah, so, I want to see those. Yeah, I'll get them then before we leave. Yeah, definitely. So Princess well, you, said it's hard to find pierced, vintage pierced. Well, can't you buy converters at like the like Michaels and Hobby Lobby mm -hmm. and stuff? Sure. Yeah. Definitely. But those earrings are really pretty. I would list those for at least $25, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, I'm looking yeah. at some of the solds right now. You know, $19.99, $24.99, because I'm not really seeing any exactly like yours. Mm -hmm. Those are cute. Very um, cute. This is more Czechoslovakia. Oh, nice. Oh. Very pretty. It's a brooch? Yes. Mm -hmm. They're what? Peacocks? Mother, uh, Bird of Paradise? Bird of Paradise. Well, no, Bird of Paradise is not in there yeah. that color. Lovebirds? Yeah, could be. Lovebirds, maybe. Yeah, lovebirds. I don't know. I just guessed. Is Birds. it missing a stone there on one of its tails? Are there stones in there? I couldn't tell. Oh, it does look like it's good. Let me get the... Oh, the magnifying glass is right there. Oh, there it is. No? No. It's something a little better. He's getting looped now. Oh, he's got the same one I do. I love that thing. <laughs> love it. And I need to, you got to post the link. If I post the link, my, my um, Amazon like account doesn't come up. I'm so stupid with that kind of stuff. That's why I'm not posting it. I'm like, what do I want my account to come up? Yeah, it's missing. not going to come up. Oh, cool. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> if you just copy the, the address at the top and you put it in the, it won't show you. It'll just go right to that. Um, I don't I'm, I'm old. It's okay. I got you. Somebody uh, in the group posted it, and that's how I got mine. I just followed that link and got mine. I'm going to search for it. I want one. I can see very good with it, and I can't see with a, a loop, like a, a conventional loop at all. Well, you see who's looking at the stuff. This is something else I, I probably will keep for myself. Uh, I've seen <laughs> a million times at the locket. But I, don't yeah, I will. I just that's cute. Oh, drop do? it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I've never seen one that does this. Oh wow! Oh wow! Holds, Me either. It holds five pictures. Four. Four. Four pictures. That's Four. amazing. Yeah, I think my grandbaby's going in there, but I've never seen one that open up like that. That's so cool. And it's got a spring and, on it that is. Yeah, I paid seven fifty for that, so Debbie's probably keeping that one. That's yeah, I think it was worth definitely it. Worth it. Yeah, I really like that. Uh, did you get that at an estate or where'd you get Yeah. That? Yeah. Did you go on the last day to get them at half? Yeah, that's why I, we started the garage sales around here, we're just so one thing, I'm not a morning person. Me neither. Uh, and 
they'll say huge and you get there and they have one eight foot table of you know <laughs> cool whip containers so right. i just got fed up and stopped going so i told max uh, and like i say i've seen um I know CN Save does a lot. I know Tanya has done some on the estate, estate sales. And I thought, well, let's go the last day and, you know, see what's there. And we've gone, what, three weeks? And it's yeah. worked out very well. I'm, I'm getting some stuff besides jewelry, but, um, yeah. So I'm getting, you, where are you? Are you near a metropolitan area? That uh, we're in Roanoke, Virginia, which is way down in southwest Virginia, close okay. to Tennessee. Mm -hmm. We're in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Oh, very nice. Well, what is that thing we're looking at now? Really? That is a compact. Uh, it's I don't know. It has Caress K A R E S S, and then it has Woodworth, and then I guess what it is is a Vanipat V A N I P A T, and the shape is a coffin shape, which I have been told is a very unusual shape for a uh, compact. Oh, wow. That's, cool. That's so cool. Yeah, I found that too. I'm finding neat. I'm going to keep going. Everybody found, loves that necklace that you had uh, in the chat. I don't know if you can see the chat, but uh, you got the a bunch bell of bell bell or the locket? No, the locket. Every, and so oh. somebody said if there's this many people in the chat that like it, then it for sure will sell. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. <laughs> My I, grandbaby is going in there. I told them that to shoot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Okay. Well, I was just going to say that um, on eBay, I'm looking at the solds, and I see one that went for fifteen ninety nine, and then a gold one. Should I just screen share so y'all can see? Let me screen share. Oh yeah. Okay. Let me know if you can see it. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like they're definitely really collectible. And here's a nice, pretty gold one that's shaped just like yours that sold for $30. I um, actually like the silver better. And here's yeah, one uh, that's more silver. It sold for $15.99 with two bids on it. But I would definitely go high. It doesn't has a slight gold tone to it. look like there's that <laughs> many available. Debbie, yeah. I, would, I, I would put that on Etsy. Do you have an Etsy account? Yeah, yeah. I, I sell on Etsy. I usually um would if, if it's vintage, I will double list. On yeah, because on Etsy. I would I would list that higher, yeah, like I probably you know, double it on Etsy. That fifteen dollars is just that's just unacceptable. Yeah, I um <laughs> I, I kind of list high on things, so you know, and then if I if it sits for a while, I. You know, I, I may change, you know, take an offer or something, but mm -hmm. I That's have no I problem do. waiting. Uh, so Max has a real job and he pays the bills, so I can <laughs> <laughs> worry about that. Do real job. Yes. <laughs> and I work from home, though. So. Yeah, he oh, loves his job. Yeah, so. That's, this That's awesome. caught my interest. It looked like a piece of junk. And, but I thought, hmm, the, um, I don't think it has any mark on it. Mm -hmm. We just picked this up, but it's got like, and then one of the albacore uh, things is missing, but it's really a funky shape. It's like another piece that looks like it was handmade. Um, Do you mean abalone? Abalone, thank you, albacore. Jeez, yeah. tuna. Yeah, it's got some tuna <laughs> on it. <laughs> 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 For a while there, I was thinking, is it abacore? Oh, come on. <laughs> That's I was like, what? I've never heard of that. <laughs> uh, I have a bracelet with tuna. Cool. I'm staying with the nautical theme today. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I, don't, pretty. I don't know. It, like I say, it's weird. It's got like two points. I don't know. It's a I bangle, mean, right? No, okay. It's, it's a up. very small one. Mm -hmm. Did you touch it? Is it magnetic? Oh, I would think no. that would be sterling. It is not magnetic. So that mean does that mean it is or not? Is sterling magnetic? No, it's possible that it's sterling, but you really would have to test it with a metal test. We've, we've got the kit. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, that's one reason I picked it up. I thought that kind of looks like it might be sterling. That looks like more American mother of pearl in there, maybe than Abilene. I'm not sure. Yeah, and Carla says in a chat, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Belinda, rather, it could be Native American. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. It does have that kind of a feel to it. Uh, excuse me while I do this. Let's be happy. Thrifter says the stones are inlaid. Mm -hmm. A bunch yeah. of people say it looks silver to them, too. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And they're uh, iridescent. Yeah. Light hits them. yeah, that's... Are the, the stones mostly white? Uh, or the, or the some green and, a lot of green and blue in it. Or is it green, white? blue, but mostly they look so white. Don't it they? depends how if, if you just look at it without light reflecting off, they look mainly white. But as soon as the lights yeah. are sitting, you start getting. I think it's mother of pearl. Because mother Let's of see pearl it again. Oh yeah, I think so too. It's really pretty. Abalone would show more green and, and blue and more um like striations or more um what do I want to say detail maybe. Mm -hmm. Belinda said could it be opal? Uh, I don't, I don't think so. It does, so. does not look like opal. Yeah, I doubt it. Is there is there a stone missing there or broken? Yeah, yeah. there's one missing on yeah. right there. Yeah. I'll that have to get some tuna out of the cabinet and replace it. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny, Debbie. I like you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I can sort of start. We got this, and we don't know what it is. And it's metal. Does that count? The clapper. Oh, oh that's neat. Wow. We, don't, we have no idea what it is. Let me see the back again. And it's got mounting holes in it. Uh Oh gosh! I was going to say a money holder till I saw the holes. Could yeah, it be a well, knocker? It's, it's limited in movement. Well, we thought about a knocker, but Max, what do you say? What would a knocker? Be? Well, first of oh. all, I don't know how you'd mount it to a door. I mean, the well, it could have had another piece, but even if it did, there wouldn't be enough play in it, play to, in it to really get much of a knock out of it. I would think of more along the lines of a belt buckle, possibly a big belt. Oh. But I'm not sure. Do you think it could possibly have gone on the belt, or do you think it's too big and bulky for that? Oh, I, I've, this, you know. I've had. Uh, I used to be a like to wear belt buckles of different types. Mm -hmm. And this is about three times as heavy as the heaviest belt <laughs> I've ever had. Okay, then that's out. <laughs> it's probably what brass. It's brass. It's definitely brass. Uh -huh. I think it's some kind of ornamental decorative piece that probably just. Um, Perhaps attached to something else. Mm -hmm. Some kind of hardware. Maybe even yeah. on a door or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll figure out something with it. Yeah. That's know. really pretty. That will sell. I mean, that kind of stuff is in demand. It's a pheasant, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a pheasant. Yeah, just let me know when we, I mean, I've got like, we could sit here for three days. Let me know when you. <laughs> Uh, this is a pair of clip earrings, and they're bobbly, B-O-B-L-E-Y. Another wow. one I had never heard of. I Leave it to me to come up with all these. You're sure bringing the, the uh, real today. <laughs> yeah. I've never heard of that brand or either. Me neither. They're nice. They look to be very nice quality. But they're very nice. They're a nice weight. And well, look well made. Yeah, um, just look at the soles. It looks like you could probably get fifteen to twenty for them. I'll say there. Well, there. When I bring all that jewelry home, look now. maybe they're newer. I think they're like eighties or nineties or something because I never heard of them. Yeah. I've always liked this one. They're yeah, really this pretty. is one of Max's favorite. I didn't bring this out because it's a Monet, which I know, but it's a very pretty Monet. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. So I like that. Yeah, I know. I was wondering, what do you think to ask for that one? I normally, the money, you know, it's not that big a deal, but I thought this one was really pretty. Yes, it is. Like right now. And the, the the great thing about Monet and like Napier and all those brands is I find that they don't really fade. Like they keep their color really good don't you guys think oh yeah this is this is beautiful condition yeah i was surprised this is very it's heavy i was surprised when we found the monet mark on it what'd you pay for it uh got it in uh if you saw i bought a uh, 
jewelry case off of eBay. Uh, so probably about a buck. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, they go for good money. And I don't know about things like this. I don't, they're tacky to me, but you know, one man's tacky is another man's gorgeous. Um, this came in that same lot, so I didn't pay a lot for it. Wow. Do you like cool. it? I like that. I'd wear I'm that. Saying, I think it's tacky. <laughs> well, it is, but the thing about it is tacky sells. It yeah, well, I know ugly sells, but. <laughs> yeah, tacky so, body. So That's what would cool. you put that on for? And horse things sell. Yeah, yeah. I know uh, nautical cheese. I'm still over there. E equine, uh, yeah. Yeah, equine's a good uh, keyword. One of kind. Uh, Western. That's all wood carved, is it? Yeah. 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 It's got guns. It's got uh, horse heads. It's got boots. And then it's got the horse Bucking down here. Bronco. And then a bunch of yeah. wood beads. And it's strung on rawhide. Rodeo's a good keyword or something like that. Or yeah. uh, cowgirl, cowboy. Texas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so like $15.95? Yeah, I think that sounds for good. Etsy. More for Etsy and, you know, I don't know. For oh, now, see, I'm, how, how do I know how old it is for Etsy? Does it look old to you? It, it, that's just a mystery. That's just going to be a, a judgment call. It, it looks older to me. Well, it's it older looks, to me too. Yeah, I was gonna say it kind of looks like something somebody might make in the seventies when the cowboy craze was in. I would say so too. Mm -hmm. Everybody was wearing boots and all that. And for that Monet necklace, I would say at least thirty-five dollars on that. Oh those, really? Yeah, those sell really well. Y'all are gonna make me some money. Like <laughs> I did. Oh, I can good. show you guys if you want. Like Y'all want to see it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, if you yeah. don't have to pick up, it's okay. Let's be happy it. said uh, that she should really be working, but that you got we're all bad influences, but this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> I watched her open a jewelry on Periscope last night. Let's be happy thrifter, my friend Leslie. So awesome. I cool. asked her to be here today special. <laughs> Are you guys seeing my screen? Yeah. Thirty-one dollars. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Now the Monet mark hasn't changed, has it? That you can tell age by? Isn't it always been Monet? That's a good question. Well, it has changed uh, through the years. Yeah, you can look on. I think maybe Illusion Jewels uh, has the different year marks on there. Um. So I think they the later ones are scripts. And the older ones are block letters, but I'm not real sure. You have to check. Yeah, I've, I've been to some sites. Okay. This is more, and it's more 1919 USA. Oh, wow. Now, I've heard of 1928. I love their stuff. If I were finding that, it's not going anywhere. But I, I've never heard of 1919. I can't say that I have either. I mean, well, it's kind it is, of a... It's cast. And then it's had certain parts after casting has been polished. Um, and, but uh, beyond that, I can't say anything else. It doesn't look like, wait. And I don't think it's, for sure. Well, well it's not made I'm it. not seeing anything on eBay. The clasp is made, but the item itself is not. Yeah, I have a bunch of angel things. I may just do a lot of angels. And mm -hmm. Some people like to do that. I mean, buy them all, don't they? I think that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. uh, here is another pair that came out of that um, lot that I bought, and they are 12 karat go filled, which that's not really anything, is it? I mean, they can't do anything with it. Are they hearts? Yeah. Yeah, hearts. Really it looks pretty. like a 
So, uh, is that a pearl. not a pearl? Is it a real one? No, it's not no, a real one. I didn't think so. It didn't look like a real Those one. Those are beautiful. They are. They're very pretty. Now, I would say they, they could be like, um, you could say in your keywords, like bride, bridal jewelry. You know, they would be cute for a bride. Um, so, I, would, I would sell those. I mean, yeah, I, I think they're very pretty. Yeah, they, I would wear those. They're real pretty. Are they screw on though? Screw yeah. Oh, uh, that's a bad. That's one bad thing about them. That screw backs are not real popular. I don't think. Um, do you like? I mean, like I say, I think I paid up maybe a buck for them. Maybe. Oh, they're worth a buck, definitely. Yeah, like nine ninety five or eleven ninety five, maybe something like that. Why is this in here? Sonia, have you ever sold screw backs? A uh, few and far in between. <laughs> Oh, Which yeah. one is that? Well, this not, is, uh, not me. I can't. Yeah. I agree with you, though. They just don't sell very well. I don't pick them up unless they're in a lot or something. Well, have you yeah. ever worn them? It's Which, like, the, the first it's one, like your ears are in a vice. No, I don't want to wear them. <laughs> your ears are a device when you wear them. <laughs> okay. I have this pair of earrings, which I think are pretty. They are another one. Richelieu. R I C H E L I E U. Have heard of it. That. Yeah, I have too. They're cute. Yeah, no, those are uh, pierced. So. I would probably put those up on Etsy for maybe twelve ninety nine. What do you think, Angie? Or yeah. more? Yeah, something around there. What do you do on? No. What do you do on uh, Etsy? Like when you're not sure of the age you just uh you know yeah. kind of i mean I, I i well i think it's 70s 80s you kind of mm -hmm. yeah do that. <laughs> that's, that's about all you can do you know it's you just if, first of all what i do is if, if it is marked with some company that i've never heard of i research the company and make sure the company is an old company yeah they're not mm -hmm. That they're at least before ninety eight, um, and then you're safe. You're so Prin fun. Princess said that she just got that brand mm -hmm. at a estate sale with fifties and seventies jewelry. Oh, yeah, we, we should lose okay for um. That's Ooh, that's pretty. That is pretty. Yeah, it just came. Uh, I, I just love the color of it. Um, the it's like gray to me, gray crystal. Green to me. No, it's gray. See, Looks see, still blue to me. I see blue. <laughs> so, okay, everybody pick a color. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's not marked anywhere. But uh, it, it's. I think it's just gorgeous. I love it. Very pretty, and the size of it's substantial too. Yeah. 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 I. I love gaudy. I'd have to keep that and. Either wear it or craft with it or something. It's really pretty. Well, I might have to keep it because we can't decide what color it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's Maybe it's blue, sea foam to go along with blue the knot. Yeah, gray. you know, yeah. another place that brooches look really pretty where you can see them all the time is lampshades, right? Like a little lampshade jewelry. <laughs> no, Tanya, like have, no. Tanya I have a step lamp away from the lampshades. <laughs> I have a lampshade in here. Hats. I like hats. I like them on hats. Yeah, I'll put I'll put the jewelry on anything. Uh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> I just want to need my son to walk in the house and see brooches on our lampshades. He'll just turn around and leave. <laughs> well, it's I see it's getting climbed. Do you want to uh, shut down or keep going? What you want to do? Um. Well, we did get started a little late. Why don't we show one more item? Does that sound good, y'all? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Let me show our here. jewelry. Can we yeah. show her thing? Uh, okay. This one. These are kind of boring, but it's another brand I've never heard of. Uh, clip earrings, and they are Emmons, E M M O N S. Pretty. Those are pretty. Uh huh. They are. Emmons they was the forerunner to um, Sarah Coventry, I believe. Oh, really? Oh, really? Right. I didn't know that. I didn't either. So they would be what sixties? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how I got started in jewelry. My mother sold Sarah Coventry. Oh, she did. And she used to, you know, get money credit to buy what she wanted and 
jewelry box. I still have a jewelry box that I got. And when she bought everything she had, she was like, okay, you can go through and pick out stuff. So, I mean, we had every piece of Sarah Coventry jewelry there was through like wow. the 70s. So that's yeah. what got me addicted. I was still in high school. I was walking around like I was going to church or something. You know, I was all decked out. <laughs> So the chat wants to see, um, a couple of people want to see the brooch again. So um, a couple of people have said, it looks like, really I'm going to butcher the name. Is it Juliana? And that sometimes, or Alex Zadrita. I can't, I'm bad with that. Sorry, you guys. But they want to the see gray, like the back. This one? The yeah, gray, back. green. Yeah. Okay, you want to see the back? The back of it. Yeah, it's really pretty. Maybe somebody in the chat will know. Yeah, so there was a couple, like a Juliana, and then, I don't know, Tanya, if you can see that. <laughs> what the, you, uh, see that? you did a good job. I would butcher it, too. I butchered that. <laughs> no, you did good. That, you did good. Put, put that on a knit hat. <laughs> I didn't <have> <laughs> But it says she says the Juliana like some of their her it sounds like some of the pieces aren't marked so it could be that too. Yeah. Well, um, Angie, do you want to show your jewelry right quick? Sure. Okay, I have this very, it's very pretty mother of pearl ring, and so let me so kind of a modernist style. Very pretty. So that's, that's kind of, is it modern? Like, would you say mod? Yeah, well, like I'd say modernist. Yeah. Yeah, that's really pretty. Yeah. I, I like it. I'm like, now that I have it on, I'm like, why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> Then I have this cool bracelet. This is like cowgirl bracelet. That's cool. cool. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, I like that. And then I have this little necklace. It's, it's, um, enamel. Is it, um, no, oh, no, um, oh, it's art. The Italian, the Italian stuff. Mil uh, Milifori. Yeah. I love that stuff. Very yeah. pretty. Yeah, that's silver town chain with the Milifori, um, pink. It's very cute. Very pretty. That's in my shop. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for letting me share my jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> we always like to make jewelry. <laughs> I was going to wear uh, stretch bracelets all the way up my arms today for you, uh, Angie, but. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to see those Berber, Berber, Edgar? Yeah, let's see them. I got to go. I think, I think they're back here. I'm going to get them. Okay. I'm wearing a fun necklace, but this, this necklace was made by, we have a little bead lady that lives around, and. Lots of times uh, we'll get necklaces from her for the holidays. They're just fun to wear. I get them for my daughter, too. But I'm not selling it. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to hang it on the lampshade. I might. <laughs> I'm going to take a picture of my lampshade here in my eBay room and send it to you. It's cute. So my piece, I found Ooh. this week. This is a Florenza signed pin brooch. It's a pendant Maltese cross from the 1950s with a gold tone. That's oh, beautiful. That's, that's a hunk. That's heavy. That's really oh. nice. That's Did you really show nice. us that before? Nope, I just got this. Man, that's really nice, Monica. It yeah. is Where beautiful. Did that? Where did you get that? Um, I, it, at a we have a Catholic um, thrift shop here, and I went to go look for um, from the other show, and you're like, oh, go get that. I went back, and they had this, and I just thought it was really cool looking, and I grabbed it. I had no clue. I paid, I think, two bucks for it, and I found one on eBay, and it sold for $38 plus shipping. Wow. Are there? And there's, there's no more. Anything? There's no more listed, so. Okay, so I would go high. Definitely, mm -hmm. Monica. And I would, I would look on Etsy too. Of course, you don't do it, do you? 
I had to be careful because I've gotten all the pins that I had from before. My mom has taken all of them. And even <laughs> Carol, my mom, Carol got a whole bunch of pins and my mom snatched them up from her too. So I've had been hiding this one so that she doesn't take it from me. All right. <laughs> That's too funny. Uh -huh. I have a, a question. Awesome. Just is there, have you ever checked or is there some kind of, I don't know, if what jewelry piece sells the most, like there's a necklace, earrings, brooches, whatever, what, what's the money as far um, as popularity? You know, I, I really wouldn't know how to pinpoint it exactly unless you were to do maybe a lot of research on eBay under the solds, but like you could like do a search for solds and see what the count is like of how many of that particular item sold and maybe that might give you an idea like maybe from there's more personal, from your personal experience what do you think sells better for you um variety yeah maybe earrings sell often what do you think angie what would you say for you my favorite is earrings um yeah, my, that's my favorite. Okay. Oh. Want to see me? Right. Are we done? Oh. Oh. oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see them. Oh, but your turn. Oh okay. no! I went. All right. <laughs> Those are earrings. Yes. Oh my lord! I know. <laughs> are they as heavy as they look? No, they're light. They're lightweight. They're Oh, they're awesome. They're, they're, they're just so, awesome. They're, open. they're, they're awesome. really pretty. Oh. What are you going to ask? I don't know yet. Probably 40 ish. I'm not sure. Let's um, see the, um, the back, Angie. Does it, um, oh, yeah. Those are good sellers. I've sold those before. That's the same one, like those. Is that the same lady that does the cats? It is. It is? No. I think so, isn't it? No, you're thinking of, uh, I'm pretty sure you're thinking of somebody. I can't think of her name now. This is Edgar. The The cat person is a lady, isn't it? The cat person's a woman, right? Okay. I thought I had sold those Bur Burberry um, earrings that are cats before, but maybe it's a different brand. And then, well, I actually got a lot of them. That They were the fanciest ones, and then there's these. They're, they're also Bur Edgar. I'm just going to say Edgar because I forget how you pronounce the name. And then there's these. Wow. wow. Where'd you get those? Mm -hmm. um, eBay. Oh, you bought them on a lot to resell? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just say I was leery of doing it. I thought, oh, this is going to be a waste of money, whatever. But I got some good stuff out of that one I bought. Yeah, you, you got definitely some amazing that. stuff. Definitely. Yeah, I got some trash too, but I, I have I have a um, friend who has a granddaughter that is making jewelry and selling it at the farmer's market on Saturdays, and she's like nine years old, and she's made two hundred dollars. Wow! Oh, yeah, so I give her all my craft stuff instead of listing it on the eBay or whatever. But uh, yeah, she she's thrilled to get it. Um, I taught her making two hundred dollars. I wanted to get a cut of it. <laughs> right okay well i want to remind everybody to hit that like button the thumbs up and um i would like for everybody to go and subscribe to debbie and max their youtube channel and to angie and monica i put the links to all of their channels in the description box down below and i'd also like to invite everybody to come over and join our jewelry group on facebook it's called thrifty jewelry treasures and over there, you can post a few um, pictures of your jewelry, anything you have questions about. And um, we would love to have you guys on again. You guys had yeah. such good stuff. Definitely. <laughs> we, could, we could do a show every week for about uh, 52. <laughs> all right. Well, I love all the jewelry that is. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just got my jewelry all sorted out. But I have a ton. Well, I'll get with you. Guys, let's plan on doing something maybe in the um, in the new year for sure, because yeah, you guys we, brought some interesting finds for sure. Yeah, and we're I love that there were so many different ones that different uh, brands that we hadn't uh, ran into yeah. before. Like, 
Yeah, we've had luck at some of these prices you've given. We're definitely going to keep going to the estate sales and getting some stuff. So, Yes, and now you've encouraged me to go to those estate sales <laughs> on the last day, too, and go check out the jewelry and see if they got any good stuff, for sure. Yeah, and I'm going to list my disco cuff links and see what I can get. Yes. Keep <laughs> us posted on that in the group, for sure. Yeah, well, <laughs> okay, thank you well, so much for having us. Thank you so much for coming on. Um, and also our next show, we won't have another show until next month and it's going to be with Princess Casserole, Carla. Yay, so we Carla. are looking forward to that and we will keep you uh, posted in the jury group when that show will be. So thanks so much to everybody for joining us this morning. We always appreciate seeing you in the chat and we will see you on the next show. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.